do you wash your crotch slash genitals before oral sex? Why or why not? Ah yes. Thirsty Thursday on Reddit has arrived. Every day is Thirsty Thursday on slash r slash s credit. You should see slash r slash s credit after dark. If there's even the slightest chance my wife's mouth will end up on only my dick I give it a wash. So you never wash your dick eh? Got em. Flim flam there's dick jam. I always autoclave mine. I'm fairly sure that would make it explode. Only if you leave the cap on too tight. This is the first time I read a biologist joke. Love it. I know right. I was thinking omg it's one of us Q. Q. It's more of a let's make sure I'm not in need of a wash kind of thing for me and my so. Yeah most of these seem like they're for single people. When you're in a relationship they'll tell you if you stink. And maybe they'll like your stink anyway. Though that's a whole different conversation to have at that point. It's true. My BF prefers me at least a few hours after a shower. Rather than fresh out of a shower. In his words. He wants to be able to smell me and not my body wash lol. I remember reading or watching something about this a while back. Supposedly it's a part of human instinct. If you enjoy the smells of someone else's body odors. It supposedly means you have higher likelihood of highly compatible genetics for making babies together. Supposedly has something to do with how our own family members smell really bad to us. Because their genetic macup is very similar to ours. When someone's bow smells good it means they are very different than ourselves on a genetic level. Random. But I always think about the scene in Pulp Fiction with his GF in the motel. After he gets back from the fight. I stink he says. She replies but I lose the way you stink. Sometimes just depends if it'll ruin the mood or not. E. G. If it's spontaneous sex. Usually not. But if I'm expecting it to happen then yeah I usually do it secretly in advance. This is literally half the reason I have a bidet. Go for a piss. Rinse the boys. And give the ol' poop shoot a good dousing too because our souls stink. Username might check out. I'm also checking out of this now. Mental imagery is at 100. I'm a builder gotta wash pretty thoroughly daily anyway. If I'm expecting to get some I double my efforts. Don't understand how some dudes get away without washing under their foreskin their whole life. And get laid though. Just nasty. This is sadly true. I clean dicks for my job. There was a 30 year old penis the other day I swear he never touched it or something. Because what came out of it was a thick clay like substance. That my assistant claimed smelled like putrid hot garbage. Like a dozen maggoty goat cheese wheels in the sun. It took forever trying to scrape all of it out of there. Couldn't even pull the damned foreskin down at first it was stuck. Glued fast to the cheese clay crust in there. The gunk broke several examination swabs. So I gave up and used the tongue depressors like a spade to shovel it out. The fuck kinda job do you have? One that doesn't pay well enough. Yeah but you get good tips. But a friend of mine told me, whenever she would take a guy home with her from the bar, the first thing she would make him do, was wash his hands. Thinking of all the dirty things hands touch every day. This made perfect sense to me. Well the last year I started to wash my hands every time when coming home anyway. I've always done this. I imagine it was something my parents taught me, when I was a kid, but no matter what part of my life, I always wash my hands, when I get home. Yeah. First thing I do, when I come home always. Can't imagine touching anything with my dirty hands, even if I haven't touched anything other than the doorknob. Not just when I get home. When I went to the toilet. When I touched the bin. When I touched any dirty surface. When I notice there is something under my nails. Basically I have clean hands in general. If I can get away I will. I usually use good old body wash when I'm in the shower, but if I'm about to get it on. If I can get away I'll use something softer, like a facial soap without a scent. On my dick, the balls, and around the groin. I usually keep myself trimmed really close and occasionally I'm shaven, so that helps a little. I just think I expect something similar from my partner, so I do the same. I do the exact same thing, except instead of soap I use cheese whiz. Try Miracle Whip you won't go back. The ladies prefer power bait. That's a great way to get catfished. Starting at puberty I decided to wash my shit every day on the off chance I get lucky. Admittedly, it wasn't relevant for a while. But when it is, the payoff is fantastic. Edit, oof this is embarrassing. Just to field the general jokes. 
I did wash everything prior to that. It became to a joke to myself starting around 12 year old that I wanted to make sure I was clean. Just in case this was the day. Think of it as reframing an everyday activity as horny optimism. 65 70 days later. In the morning after my shower I use powder on my balls. Chassis brand. This stops my crotch from getting overly sweaty. I think that only works well for regular sex though. For oral. Though my dick might be decently clean and not smelly, my ass is still pretty close to her face, and fumes can waft. So, yeah. Pop in the shower and clean up. Though, it's less inconvenient when I work out slash run in the evenings. Because I already am going to shower just cause I'm sweaty. Two birds one stone kinda situation. I just read this as poop in the shower and clean up man. Was I confused for a second? Waffle stomp. I went back and forth between upvoting and downvoting this. I decided on no vote. I downvoted on your behalf. Then upvoted on my own behalf. So we cancel each other out. But not really, because now it's just an upvote. Long story short. Do your own dirty work next time. You didn't even pay me. I mean you wash your vegetables before you eat them backslash you 200d. I do. Always without a doubt she can't stand the smell after a long day and never can I edit. Thank you all for the upvotes and the awards you people are awesome. Absolutely. Yay I just don't understand why he smells that bad down there. Edit. Guys. I think slash you slash cage donut 627 is a big enough boy to be able to take all your advice directly. He works hard in the Mediterranean and seems mature enough to be able to handle it. I will. However, keep enjoying all your explanations. Fun fact. The crotch and armpits share the same kind of sweat glands. Apocrine sweat glands. That produce a different fluid from normal sweat glands. Bacteria like to nom on it and create body odor. I can't believe I'm writing this. I've had a drink, but I have the smell of my husband's sweaty pubes. Like it's nitrous oxide, and I'm a woman in labor. I cannot get enough of it. I've read that it means we are very compatible on a genetic level, but maybe I'm just nasty eater. Firstly a rather urgent edit to clarify that I'm not in fact currently pregnant slash in labor. Sorry about my ambiguous wording. And apologies to those who have raised concerns about a drunk woman red eating and drinking while pushing out an infant. That is most assuredly not the case. Secondly thank you so much for all the awards. My husband and I are both tickled in a very pleasing way. 100% yes. And before sex. I've been in a relationship with my girlfriend for 8 years. To be honest it does sometimes bring down the mood, but honestly sex is so much better when you're both clean, and it's totally worth it. Also yeast infections suck, if my so, and I decide we need a shower beforehand. I always suggest a couple's shower, so we can still keep the mood up somewhat. Plus, it's super fun washing each other's body sensually. That's a good tip. Me and my partner just quickly wash up. Yup wash the undercarriage. Heck I wash my crotch slash genitals every day. Sometimes twice. Not just before oral sex. I assume the context of the question was more about if it's moments before you think it'll happen and you've been in a sweaty nightclub or leavening rather than your morning shower 14 hours prior. With that said I know there are too many people out there who don't seem to wash their junk. Like ever. And that is why this question should be a poll. How long is too long between wahing dick and getting a blowjob? A. Less than 1 HRB. 1. 3C. 4. 12D. Shower before blowjob? Never considered it as a requirement. If I can't take a whole shower I at least use a couple vaginal safe wipes to clean up my pussy and anal area. I'm insecure and anything I can do to ease anxiety, like not having to worry if I smell bad down there, makes sex better for me. Maybe someday I'll get over myself. But right now it works for me. I'm the same. I will refuse getting oral if I didn't shower first or if I've peed since the shower it's my hang up. Shoot. I only just started accepting oral sometimes and I'm 31 and have been with my husband over 7 years. I was so nervous to get oral from my ex GF yet I'd go down on her all the time. It really sucks lacking the confidence to have happy, enjoyable sex. It does. 
having a partner though who will occasionally, never in a pressuring way, just basically saying it's still on the table, bring it up, and be supportive slash trustworthy is amazingly helpful. If he never brought it up again I'd probably never have finally accepted. Nah, I'm used to the taste of my own genitalia by now. Same. Depends on your definition of before. If I'm going on a date, obviously I shower. But if we go out for dinner and drinks, and then she wants to play around in the car, not much you can do except hope lol. Yes. Odor paranoia. I feel you girl. I have the same ritual every time there's a reasonable chance I'll get a BJ. 1. Shower and clean thoroughly with non-fragrant soap. A lot of attention to between thighs and balls. Between cheeks and any other spot where there could be odors. 2. Rinse my dick very well. So there's no soap residue. 3. Use a little fragrance on the pubic area. Soap. Essential oil. Perfume or fragrant cream. With this regimen I got multiple you smell so good. Good luck op. Doctor doing testicular cancer check, you know I've been doing this for 30 years and I've gotta say, you've got the loveliest smelling pubes. I burst out laughing when I read the first sentence. I thought this was going to be, doctor doing testicular cancer check, look man, I don't know what kind of chemicals you use down here and for how long, but you have stage 6 testicular cancer. This is not what two normal bulls feels like at all. Reminds me of the Dave Chappelle stand up. Oh my god. Your balls are as smooth as eggs. Yes. I will suck them. Well. That's a thought I know. Will pop in my head next time I'm about to go down under still better than flossing with stray pubes for half an hour. Both my hubby and I do a wash up. Everything is more comfortable when everything is clean. If you are planning to have sex at a particular time. Then sure, but that's not usually how it works. I shower every day, but I have never once been like hold tight. I need to go jump in the shower before we go any further. Edit. Holy smokes did not expect this comment to get so much attention. Obviously if we have been working out or otherwise getting sweaty, my wife and I will clean up before sex. Some of your are nasty. Some are clean freaks. Shower sex is great. Be respectful of your partner. Stay safe out there kids. I don't think that's true. Sometimes you back quote get lucky when not expecting it. Admittedly it was just the once this happened to me. I had a lunch date and overslept. It was a first date in middle of the day. So I wasn't expecting anything to happen so already running late. I just sprayed some deodorant. Chucked on a clean shirt and rushed to the restaurant. Anyway, we got on super well and ended up going to play crazy golf afterwards. Which ended up turning into drinks back quote till closing time and then ending back at hers. We were making out when she said it was a back quote bad week to go all the way but she had something else in mind and started kissing her way down my chest. Knowing I hadn't showered that day, I quickly excused myself to the bathroom and had a back quote freshen up in the basin. That seemed a totally normal thing to do, and to be honest just common decency, even if I was washing my cock in a stranger's bathroom. Oh that reminds me, your mom really has excellent taste in bath towels. Obligatory. Fuck you Shawsy. Fuck you Sterny. Your mom's bathroom is beautiful too. Just so long as you don't bring in a black light. I keep my dick well seasoned like cast iron cooker, with polymerizing oil and high temps. Whoa, Nelly, with a ball of tin foil, if it is really bad. Brave of you to assume I have oral sex. We are in the same boat my friend. Just admiring the achievements of better men. Not necessarily better. Don't measure yourself based on sex. Yeah, measure yourself based on size. A lot of people lying here. No, the other group of people just not admitting it here. Why would they? If it's expected then yes. I usually say I have to fart and go to the bathroom wash my dick on the sink. Also works if you just have to fart. If I'm anticipating any kind of sexual contact I clean my whole body. I do so because I want to be clean for my partner. As a man. So long as I showered and wasn't sweaty during the day. No. My so is pretty eager about giving oral sex. So I don't think I've ever had a cleanliness problem. I think she will use wipes on herself if she hasn't just showered and is expecting sexy times. 
Granted, she's rather self-conscious and doesn't often let me get down and dirty. I want to say, when you're a man it's pretty easy to figure out when your dick is nasty. Anyway if you've been sweating a bit it takes like 30 seconds to get your dick clean. Plus I'm I've never had a woman lose the mood if I tell them to hold on for a minute. If I haven't recently gotten out of the shower, I do. If you are new to Tattletale TV, please subscribe. We have new videos every day. Stay tuned for more coming up next.